Hey guys, Fernando Perez here again. Early today, I made a video, uh, a healing video, uh, prayer to heal emotional pain. And I went home, I uploaded the, 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 the video to the channel. And ever since, I, it just, I cannot shake this thing off. I just need to pray more into this thing. Uh, I feel that there are many, many of you uh, that even your relationship with God uh, it's been a, a problem because you can't, uh, uh, you cannot connect with the Lord because of the pain that you went through in life. There's a lot of pain still in your life that needs to be healed, and and, and uh, I see father issues and and rejection from fathers and mothers and uh, in relationships and and the things that you had to go through in life and it's messing up with your identity some of you you you've been struggling uh with your identity in christ you just don't know who you are in christ you you feel that uh, you know that that's been hard to connect with the lord because all the the, the pain all the, and all that stuff that you went through and i know i have been on your shoes i know what it is to feel so you know feel the pain and, and, and being hurt and uh, and to connect with God uh, unless you're healed unless you know that the anointing goes the root of that problem it's really hard to connect with the Lord the way that you are created to connect with God and I just want to affirm you today I want to let you know that no matter how painful no matter what you have gone through in life uh, we serve a God of redemption, a God that, 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 that gets broken people and makes something beautiful out of them. And so I just want to encourage you today that no matter how bad, no matter how much pain and hurt you went through in life, you have, you serve a God of redemption, a God that is, is an expert in getting broken vessels and making something awesome and beautiful out of them. Amen. And so I just want to pray right now in the name of Jesus that God will heal the pain, the scars, all the traumas, everything that, that hinders, that blocks you, that blocks your, uh, your identity in Christ. The most important thing in your Christian life is your identity. In, in, in who you are in Christ. The world may say something about you, but you are a child of God. You are redeemed. You're, you are not just some, you know, uh, something. You are a precious child of the living God. Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary to redeem, to heal, and to make you whole. And so I just want to pray for you right now in Jesus' name for the healing power of Jesus to heal and to restore every broken pieces, every broken part of your life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, I thank you so much because you are, you are an expert. That's what you do, Father. You, you get broken people. Lord God, you make something awesome, something beautiful out of them. Lord God, you, you love to restore because that's what you do. You restore us. You restore and you make something beautiful out of us. And so I pray for this person that is praying with me right now. I know I am praying with people right now, Lord God, that they grew up in a very dysfunctional family just like I did. Lord God, and because of so much dysfunction, Lord God, so much uh, 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 issues, so much fighting and, and, and abuse and, and words and, and, and hurtful words. Lord God, this person is wounded. Lord God, I know I'm praying with people. They are wounded because words, because words, Lord God, carries power. Words can heal. Words can kill. Father God, I know I'm praying with people that grew up in an environment where their own fathers and mother was the, their greatest enemies. Unfortunately, Lord God, their greatest enemy was the, the ones from their household, was within their household. They're, they were the greatest enemy, Lord God. They spoke words, hurtful words. They spoke, Lord God, words that brought, Lord God, pain. And, and, and still to this day, Lord God, this person is suffering because of those words. Lord God, I'm praying with people, Lord God, that, 
They've been hurt. They've been in relationship after relationship. Lord God, they've been in abusive relationships. They've been, Lord God, uh, in relationship with narcissistic people. Lord God, people that only took advantage of them. People that only abused them. Father God, I'm praying with people that they went to divorce and, and separations and and, 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 and Lord God, and they never got back into their feet. God Almighty, you are in the business of restoring people. God Almighty, I cry out to you. You know, Lord God, in my heart, you know how much I desire, I long to see this person being restored. God Almighty, I could all go on with my life today, but Lord God, I decide to make this video because I, I feel... Lord God, pain. I, I feel, Lord God, there, there are people in pain right now, Lord God, and they're trying to do everything that they can to hide the pain. They're trying to do everything they can to forget that they're, they're in pain. But God, you don't want them to hide from the pain. You, you don't want them, Lord God, to, to, to forget they are in pain, Lord God. No, you want to go to the root. You want to go right there where it hurts. And you want to uproot, Lord God, that pain. You want to bring healing and restoration to this person. And so, God Almighty, I stand in prayer, Lord God, as a minister of the gospel. And I ask you, God Almighty, heal this person. Lord God, go there where it hurts. Go there, Lord God, where it's so painful, Lord God, and with your love, with your compassion, with your healing power, heal this person. Lord God, heal this person. Restore this person. There are people, Lord God, that I'm praying with right now. Lord God, their greatest fight, Lord God, is concerning their identity. I know that I'm praying with people that they feel so lost. They cannot identify with you, God. They cannot connect with you, God. They don't even know, Lord God, what love looks like. Lord God, I know I'm praying with people that they long to feel your love. They long, Lord God, to experience the love of Abba Father. They long, Lord God, to feel whole. And so, God, I ask you touch this person. Restore their identity. Lord God, restore their identity. Show this person who they really are. Show them that they are a precious a wonderful child of God. Show them that they are precious in your sight. Show them, Lord God, that they are, Lord God, uh, uh, that they are precious. That you have a perp, that you have a purpose, you have a calling, you have a destiny for them. Father God, I pray restore this person. Lord God, I know I'm praying with people that they have gone, they have gone through losses. I know that I'm praying with people, Lord God, that they have, all that they know is losses. They go from losses to losses to losses. Lord God, they have this history of losses. They don't know what it is to win. They don't know what it is to have victory. Lord God, they just like everywhere they turn, they're experiencing losses. God Almighty, I call on your name. And I ask you mercy, God. I ask you mercy, God. I ask you have mercy, God Almighty. Heal this person. Restore this person, oh God. Let this person experience, let this person know, Lord God, that you love them. Let this person know, Lord God, that they are loved. And that you, Lord God, care. You care about them. You care and your desire, your purpose, Lord God, is to make this person whole. Your desire is to make this person whole and to be everything that you have in store for them. And so, Father... I thank you for your healing power. I release through this video. I release the anointing that you place upon my life. Lord God, the anointing to heal the broken. The anointing to set the captives free. The anointing to bring hope to the hopeless. God Almighty, I release the hope that, that is within me. Lord God, there's a hope. I wake up with hope. I wake up with excitement, with joy, because that's what you place inside of me. And so I release hope. I release your joy. I release your blessings to this person. And I ask you that you heal, that you restore, and that you raise this person, Lord God, to be everything that you have in store for them. 
I bless each and every one of them to the sound of my voice. And I declare from this day on, from this moment on, this pain, this scar, this hurt, I pray, Lord God, let this thing pass away. Let this thing disappear. I pray that you uproot, that you go to the root. And you uproot this thing once for all. Uproot this thing, Lord God Almighty. Re uproot this thing so that this person can be restored. This person can have a normal life. This person can rejoice and can be glad. Because this pain is no longer part of their lives. This hurt is no longer part of their lives. They don't need to feel rejected. They don't need to feel wounded. They don't need, Lord God, to be looking and contemplating, Lord God, at this pain. And, and Father, I pray, let your kingdom come and let your will be done in the life of this man, this woman. Your word says that you heal the brokenhearted and you bind up their wounds. And so I pray that you heal and that you restore and that you raise this person to be everything that you have in store for them. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Just take a deep breath right now. My brother, my sister, just take a deep breath. Just put in the hand of King Jesus. I declare in the name of the Lord that from this day on, something new will shift inside of you. I declare that from this day on, something will shift inside of you. A strength will come upon you. A, a, a grace will come upon you. Healing will come upon you and you'll be able to be free once for all from all this pain in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of the Lord. As your brother in Christ, I declare the blessings of heaven. The blessings of having healing and restoring in your, your life for the glory of God. If you receive, say amen. Say, I receive in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise God. I love you. God bless you. you stay strong. I declare that from this day on, you will know who you are in Christ. That is the best thing that happened in my life. As a wounded, messed up young man. When I came to the realization, when I came to the revelation of who I was in Christ, and, and, and man, it changed everything. It changed everything. And I pray for that, for your life, that you will know who you are in Christ, that you know who you are in Christ. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.